it's beginning to make sense that such an inquiring and inventive mind should have come from these very shores. For centuries, this remarkable stretch of water has inspired and embraced scientific discovery. And it still does today. Instead of burning coal for energy, there is a worldwide race to discover sustainable alternatives for future generations. And of all places, this quiet little corner of Northern Ireland is where they think they found the solution, growing under the surface of the loch. Queen's University of Belfast has a research department here where they are developing biofuel, a type of energy source derived from living things like plants. I'm joining two of their marine biologists, Emma and Karen, on a hunt for some of this slippery energy of the future. Right, so ladies, what, what are we looking for here? What should I have my eye on? So you can see here we've got a whole mixture of colours. We've got brown and green and there's a wee bit of red as well. Mm -hmm. We're looking for a big, big, big brown one called Laminaria and you'll know it when you see it. Okay. UK waters hold around 630 different species of seaweed. So I'm glad I've got a couple of experts with me. See, what's this? This green one is the sea lettuce. Oh, OK. <laughs> can you eat it though? Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. can you really? Okay. <laughs> Just like lettuce, only salty. It's salty lettuce. Yeah, with the a little snail on board. <laughs> Side of escargot. <laughs> this is exactly what we're looking for here. You can see it's oh, yes. big and it's brown. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> Just what we said. Well, that that's a big, bulky, chunky bit. Oh, that's great. Sea kelp is a large variety of seaweed and is the perfect candidate for use as biofuel. It grows quicker than land crops and is five times more efficient at converting sunlight into chemical energy. This could be a fuel source for generations to come, so the lab here has to prove they can grow it on a mass scale. And to do that, they are farming it out in the loch. What boy are we going for about this one? Same again. There are six 100 meter long lines on which the seaweed grows, effectively like an underwater field. We're ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, that is heavy. <sighs> that is magnificent. Wow, ladies, I'm really impressed with that. Clearly this looks like success, but can we look forward to kelp fired electricity anytime soon? Actual production of energy, it's still at the lab scale. We know it can be done from the seaweeds, so the main thing at the moment is just to make sure we can get enough biomass, we can get enough seaweed plants that we need to actually go ahead and start producing the energy from it. So for this project here, that's the main thing for us, to optimise the production yeah. of seaweed. This year really was a, a trial phase for us, which has gone really well. Uh, we have some lovely big seaweeds growing on the lines, and hopefully we can improve that then in the next two years. Once a month we come out and um, we take sections of the seaweed plants and um, we take them back to the lab, measure the length of them and the width of them, get the weight and we take photos of the shape of them as well because that can change. There's a few Sample scars weeds. that have looked like that over the years <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> the sea as a place to grow biofuels has some distinct advantages over farming land-based alternatives like maize and sugar beet. The sea in this context is relatively underused, so if we can use a local species and grow it in the sea, then there's no issues with using any fresh water, mm. you're not taking any food crops away from anyone, and we have everything here we need. I love the smell. Yeah, I do, I love that. I love that It's not too smell. strong, but it's no. just, it's nice, isn't it? Is. <laughs> There's certainly an awful lot going on in this lock, if you bother to take notice of it. Ladies, I have to say, I'm going to look at seaweed in a whole different light. When I go to the sea from now on, I'll think of you too. <laughs> <laughs> Please do. I will. <laughs> Even though I thought I knew this area, I've been surprised by what I've found on the shores, out on the water and even under the surface. This lock has the power to fascinate and enchant those that live and work around it. And as for that magic I felt as a child, I think it's still there. And I've even found that I have a bit of an interest in seaweed. It's an unusual one, but I'm enjoying it, and I'm even enjoying this. Listen to this. It's like bubble wrap all over the beach. Fabulous.